Hello everyone, today I have a video on this 2020 LEGO Speed Champions Jaguar I-Pace. Now, when you buy the set, it comes as a race SUV. Now, I have converted it to a normal family SUV, as you can see. So there's no race stickers, no wing on the back. It's all classic SUV style. So, let's get straight into this. Starting with the front end of this car, as you can see, the only sticker I have is the front grille with, with uh, the Jaguar logo on it. Um, that's pretty much it for the stickers on this SUV. Now, it really stays the same. I have lifted it by one plate so we can get over bumps. Because when you get, um, get it as a set, it's, the front end is very low to the ground. So having it lifted by one plate helps a lot. On the side, you can see the wheels are different. They are chrome. In the set, they are sort of sporty black, which looks quite nice, but I prefer this chrome look. Of course, still no stickers, so it's very plain here down the side. It's all the same. We've still got this black strip, though. I quite like that. We've got the um, side step here. I think that's what that represents. Now, moving further down to the second wheel well, it stays light blue. There's no real differences here. The real differences come on the back, however, where there we are absent for the back spoiler or wing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's all flattened out here, all smoothed out. It looks really nice, I think, when you run your finger along it. It's, it feels really nice. Um, there's no exhaust pipes. I've smoothed it off because it is oh, an electric car. Um, I do quite like the look. It is very smooth. It looks really nice. Um, I have added a nice little detail there, a little number plate, which I think looks quite nice. Moving around to the other side, it's of course identical to the other side, but here is the look. Now the roof, I've added a roof rack for if you want a bike or a canoe or whatever you want on a roof, um, you can access uh, that now with these, well there's eight stud points here as you can see. You can put like boxes on or just an example, a toilet. You're never going to do that, but it's an example. Now, if you want to get into the interior, it is a bit of a challenge. You've got to take a couple of things off and then sometimes it falls apart. Um, if I take these two off, it's pretty much the same. Um, I made it a right hand drive because I'm English, so I prefer it to be right-hand drive, even though all the cars are now drive on the other side. So I should probably change it back to the left-hand um, drive, but for now I'm happy with this. There's only two seats. Um, I should have probably done something with the back to make room for more passengers, but um, I have a lack of parts right now. And of course, putting the roof back on can be a challenge. All right, the roof is now back on, however, one thing I'd like to point out with this light blue colour is that if you can see, the 1x4 is discolouring. I've had this problem with uh, this colour and it's a real shame because it's a nice colour. It's just unfortunate that this has had to happen. Um, they're only three years old, these pieces. If I hold it up to the camera and try and focus it, you can just about see but the one on the right is a little darker. So it's a shame that it does discolor this color. Um, of course, white um, does tend to discolor. Um, light bluish gray can discolor. Um, in fact, looking on the downtown diner, it's losing its color slowly, and it's the same with the Parisian restaurant. Um, I could change their colour back. I've seen videos of people putting in a chemical and it converts it back to its original colour. I could do that, but it's going to take a long time to do all the pieces. I have many discoloured pieces over the years. But yeah, this is the Speed Champions converted into an SUV. Well, family SUV. Um, I did this a long time ago, actually. It was in 2020 when the set came out. In fact, I bought three of them. Here is the second one I have converted into an SUV, or well, family SUV. 
is missing a couple of parts. I'm changing some things on it right now. I do have a third one um, further down the city. But yeah, this is today's mark I'm showing off and I still have many more to show off that I've built up over the years. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Goodbye.